Buenos días y buenas tardes. I am Isabel Quintero, writer of books for young people. I will be sharing with you My Papi Has a Motorcycle, illustrated by Zeke Peña and written by myself. My Papi Has a Motorcycle. From him, I've learned words like carburetor and cariño, drill and dedication. When I hear his gray truck pull into our driveway, I run outside with both of our helmets. My puppy, the carpenter, is covered in sawdust and smells like a hard day at work. His hands are rough from building homes every day, his job since he first arrived in this country. But even though he comes home tired, he always has time for me. When our city is winding down, he takes me for a ride. Today, he's going to show me the new houses he's working on. Papi is careful with my ponytail as he pulls my helmet tight. When he lifts me onto the smooth black sheet, his hands don't feel rough, they don't feel tired, they feel like all the love he has trouble saying. Lista? Si. Sí. Papi revs the engine, vroom! And the smell of gasoline hits me as he squeezes the accelerator. Vroom, vroom! Con cuidado, be careful, says mommy. The motor rumbles and growls. Agarrate, hold on, says papi. And then we take off. The shiny blue metal of the motorcycle glows in the sun. The sun, the sun, the bright orange sun is on its way down, turning our sky blue and purple and gold. We become a spectacular celestial thing, soaring on asphalt, a comet. The sawdust falling from Buffy's hair and clothes becomes a tail following us. Buffy zigzags through the streets. We pass Abuelita's church and Torqueria La Estrella and stop for stray cats crossing in front of us. Mommy thinks there's too many of them, but I think there's just enough. We pass Joy's Market where Mommy buys my gummy bears. Mr. Garcia, our librarian, is walking out the door and nods at us. We nod back. This is how we always greet each other. Daisy! We roar past murals that tell our history of citrus groves and immigrants who work them and of the famous road race that took place on Grand Boulevard a hundred years ago. Now I know that we're stopping at Don Rudy's Raspados. But as we near the shop, we see that it's empty and out of business. I can tell Papi is disappointed. I imagine the smell of the sweet syrups Don Rudy used to flavor our shaved ice. I won't be the only one who misses him. As we ride on, I feel and hear everyone and everything we pass by. Each sound landing in my ears rebuilds whole neighborhoods inside me. No matter how far I go from this place or how much it changes, this city will always be with me. Mija! We cruise by Abuelito and Abuelita's old yellow house, the one with the lemon tree that grew from the seeds of the lemons Abuelito used to pick not far from here. Mommy says that we're going to visit them tomorrow to cut nopales from their garden and eat herby albondigas in Abuelita's kitchen where the food always tastes better. Adios, mi reina. Adios. We turn the corner and then... Ruff, 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 ruff. The dogs behind the fences go wild. Frankie, the Lopez's Labrador, escapes from her yard and runs after us. Mercedes Lopez, the fastest runner in our class, races after her. They're right behind us. Then, just as fast, the dogs barking and Mercedes and Frankie become a soft hush in the distance. We ride towards the new homes, replacing the last of the citrus groves. The painters, drywallers, and floor layers all greet us, but we can barely hear their words amidst the sounds of hammers and air compressors. Trabajando duro, muchachos. A little bit, not too much. Even in all that noise, my puppy's voice catches everything. Around the circle, this is my favorite part. On Grand Boulevard, we lean into the curve of the street. I make believe that we're in one of the races that took place here so long ago. It's our last lap and we have to win. The crowd cheers us on. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. I feel puppy smile as I squeeze my arms tighter around him. Vamos puppy, faster, faster. We fly around the circle. There's a school where we practice soccer. There's a post office where Mr. Charlie takes the letters. And La Panaderia where Papi buys conchas on Sunday morning. Here it is, all of our beautiful city. My eyes try to catch everything but the colors of houses blend into one another. Red, blue, green, orange, pink. Vroom. We ride, ride, ride until the blue glow from the motorcycle begins to dim and our comet tail has been left behind on the streets we've traveled. We head home and slowly the engine echoes us back onto our street. 
and then our driveway, our finish line. Mommy and little brother hear the motorcycle and run out to greet us. Mommy waves us in just like a referee. Papi and I can't stop laughing. We had a good ride. Through our laughter, I hear a familiar sound. Honk, honk, raspados. I think about my city and all the changes it's been through and all the changes that will come. Chicle fresa, por favor. But I know that here in our little house, there are things that will always stay the same. Mañana, we fly again.